about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There's someone, I don't know, it's like you have something on your toe. It's like a fungal infection, but it has refused to heal. In the name of Jesus, I am praying for you right now. Let the power of God touch you right where you are. Make sure you are receiving. I'm going to ask you to check yourself shortly. And then we'll have a few testimonies here before we pray over the requests. There's someone you have is like pile. But this is a very severe, in fact, it's, it's an issue that most likely may require surgery because with what i'm seeing um is is quite an advanced stage of pile right now the power of god is touching you heart palpitations you have a problem breathing sometimes it's as if you are gasping for breath i declare in the name of jesus be healed now is it i don't know if it's a boil or a swelling inside or around your armpit the power of god is touching you right now supernatural healing for you in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me someone just your left the left side of the, your left leg just right here i'm seeing that it's like your kneecap there's something wrong with it you are not able to walk well the moment i ask you to start doing what you could not do take a step of faith you will find out that the healing power of god has touched you in the name of jesus christ there is someone you are beginning to have a severe case of partial stroke if you came here on crutches or probably a wheelchair i want you to take a step of faith lift it up and try walking whatever it is don't force them sir walk lift it where's his crutch turn back and walk lift it up every other person with a crutch lift it up and walk whether it's stick any walking aid lift it up and walk in the name of jesus christ are you celebrating miracles lift it up and walk don't force them please don't force anyone once there's no strength just allow them but in the name of jesus i declare there's someone your left eye you could not see well right now you will see that a miracle has happened now begin to check yourself do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do you couldn't move parts of your body move it right now move it right now move it right now move it right now now here's what i want you to do for me please listen listen everyone check yourself there are miracles happening inside and outside this is what i want you to do for me the moment you find out that you have received a miracle something you could not do the power of god has touched you I want you to come out just come and stand here at my left where Laura is 
and then some of you you may want to stand just where the stage is there there will be pastors to check you and will take the testimonies those outside inside right now i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that the healing power of god has touched you something that you couldn't do you couldn't see now you can see you couldn't hear you couldn't smell whatever miracle celebrate them as they go move either to my left or right please whether they are coming from outside once they have been healed ushers clear the way for them let's celebrate miracles god is touching people here creator of the universe what can you do what can you do keep coming jesus creator of sin what can you change what can you change jesus you are a Like there's a miracle at the back there. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Check yourself, my God. Are you celebrating what God is doing? You couldn't bend, try to bend now. You couldn't lift your leg celebrate what jesus is doing we'll take a few testimonies whether by my left or right outside anywhere ushers pastors just help us coordinate these people and let's celebrate what god is doing in our midst there's someone you i'm literally feeling that pain on my right ear it's like you don't hear well or so or you don't hear at all with your right ear in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring, may that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. Can we take a few testimonies? No. Okay. While we take the testimonies, I'm seeing all of these miracles. Now, please hear me. Look up, please. Make sure you don't, don't, when people are healed, they are healed. Don't put anyone under pressure are we together when you lift them and it looks like they have no strength just keep them there and make sure that you only bring out people who have been healed and touched by the power of god we're not we're not stage managing anything here my friend what happened to you i'm looking at this man's leg what happened to you my eyes just went to his he just come like this i don't know what is happening you can't walk how long has this been? It's taking to two years to. Clean. Let me see how you walk. Ah, that's serious. Look at. Please help those under the anointing outside. The name of Jesus. I decree and declare may the power of God touch you in Jesus' name. Now, you see, when we pray like this, when you are on a wheelchair or you are on crutches, watch this now. What you are supposed to do is try to take a step of faith. When you find out that there's pain or you are not relieved, you can always calm down while you continue to release your faith, right? So that you don't leave people worse than you met them. No, it's, it's, it's wrong for you to, the power of God moves to touch people at various levels. So those who are helping them, make sure you don't inconvenience them and put them like this man once you are healed you can see that you can do what you could not do as clear as simple as that are we together now praise god okay let's take a few testimonies to celebrate what god has done yes please this lady came here yesterday that there's a moving object in her stomach but moving her object yes, how long my dear getting to two years now. three years what happens to you three years. I was, since I got married, I started are there some other people outside I just needed to know if perhaps those who came from outside you can still join them the power of God has touched you even if we are not able to exhaust all the testimonies now you can still testify your various churches the most important thing is what Jesus did go ahead 
Can you help us with the sound? Sound people. Okay. Praise the Lord. When I when I came here yesterday, man of God said some will receive their healings today. Before when I lie down on my tongue, I feel as if something is moving on my tongue. And right now, what happened? completely gone in the name of jesus may it never return to you by the power of the holy spirit god bless you next person please so you made mention of fungal infection on yes the this is the man yes and how the long lady, and the lady too and the lady it's more than eight years now more than eight years what is it like um the the little finger on my toes there is a growth in between the last one and the one that is following so Whenever I put on any shoe, once the two compress together, I'll be feeling serious pain. Check it. Any pain I have now? Check it. I have compressed it now. No pain. pain. Are you yes, celebrating what Jesus is doing? He also had the eyes. The Your eyes? For how long? It has been long. Very in, long. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has healed you, perfects everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the please. The same fungal infection on her feet. But it has disappeared. She had, um, she had it darkened the toes, her toenails, for seventeen years. For seventeen years. And what happened now? I Nothing is there again. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. He talked about palpitations. Palpitations. He Heart palpitations. Yes, sir. For how long? It has been a year now. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any pain? Completely. I decree and declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. He's the left ear, right ear. Like you mentioned, the right there ear. There is, I just saw, there is a lady. The right, you have a lump. The right side of your breast. I want you to check it now. You will find out that it's gone. I just saw this while check it now you find out that that devil has left your body once and for all you find out that that miracle has happened you can come and testify go ahead let's have a few more and then okay go ahead sir my right ear when you talked about the right ear i don't hear clearly for about five years now with the right which ear. of the ears the right ear, sir. and now what happened now i can hear clearly it's no, open no buzzing noise anymore place your hand the one that had a problem in the name of Jesus I declare perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name yes please this brother came with uh, he had an ulcer for more than two years but ulcer after, yes sir. but after the prayers it has gone. who is here you play football professionally football football professional I'm not saying you just play in the evening when you are you are back from work professionally is there someone like that I just saw that come your life is about to change who is the person you are a footballer professionally what's your name Huh? Maurice, you got this one. Maurice, how long have you how, how long have you played football? For about five years now. Where are you currently? I'm in Gombe, but I'm not with the Gombe United. I'm in with Doma United now. Look at me. Do you believe in the power of God? You believe God can help men. The Lord put it in my heart to pray for you and I want to pray for you. Listen, there is a grace that enthrones. There is a grace that can lift you right from where you are and take you to the nations of the earth. I stretch my hands and I pray for you that when you get there, you will not forget God. Oh. Say amen. Because many people rise, they get there and once in the presence of glitz and glamour, they just throw everything that is God. It's a caution for everyone too. As God lifts you, the Bible says, do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this, but thou shalt remember 
if he says thou shalt remember it means you can forget father i stretch my hands over your dear son in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i release you with this grace may doors open for you beyond your imagination within this nation and outside this nation may god give your career wings in the spirit in the name of jesus let it be so by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please when i came here in the morning i was feeling pain in my stomach pain uh, yes sir yes as after the prayer i can't feel anything completely gone yes. it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit right now hold yes, it yes sir she has the pain and swollen um she had a swollen armpit a swelling in her armpit for like three years like for like three years yes sir and it's gone and what happened now it's gone sir. completely are you celebrating what god is doing which of which of the place your hand there in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that pain leaves you now never to return in the name of jesus and i'm seeing god remove something from your body i command it to go out now of your body by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name let's take a few more this this man i like to hear his testimony how long have you been on these crutches Since November last year. What happened to you, sir? I motor accident. Oh dear. May God protect you on the road. May God protect you in the air. May God protect you on water. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no evil come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ. For this that the Lord has done, we give him all the glory. And we declare supernatural perfection your miracle remains with you to the glory of the name of the lord in jesus name i pray let's see how we can take a few more and then we'll just pray and i speak over your he life had yes. difficulties um, swallowing swallowing he just yes he said whenever he feels it he tries to take in water to just push and but right now he's feeling praise god straight to the point last year um, july what happened is that when that is a place to your hand, wherever you are feeling, yes. I placed my hand in my truth because I can't even take water up to half one sachet. But now I can drink two sachet as straight. When Did you test yourself? Yes, I, I test myself. When. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. If she had palpitations. Palpitations? Yes. There is someone I'm seeing. You see how my hands are shaking? That's how your hands shake. The power of God wants to touch you. I'm seeing someone like that. I don't know who, but the, the same way you see my hands shake, that's how it's like, I don't know if it's some kind of sickness. Who is that person? The power of God is touching you right now, bringing you healing. We command that demonic thing to leave now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Help them. This madam too, the power of God is coming on her. I declare healing. I don't know the name of that medical condition, but I command that spirit out of you now. In the name that is above all names. Be made whole right now. In Jesus name. Let's see if we can take three or four more very quickly for sake of time. Some of these are mothers. Let me have one or two from them. I, I want to know sir. what has happened. Pile. Pile. For more than 15 years. My goodness. What happened to you, my dear? It, it, it's more than 15 years. They grow in my private parts, three of them. And it's paining me. Even yesterday that I come, it's paining me very serious. And now I'm not feeling anything. Oh, my God. More than 15 years enduring this kind of pain. In the name that is above all names, I declare perfection for you. That devil lets you go and he will never, never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. This lady here, that she has been for so many years. But she had? Uh, for how long, my dear? Who brought 20. her? 20 years? 
who brought her who is a witness who that her grandmother put something in her stomach while she her grandfather in the mother grandmother put something in her stomach for a oh very my. long time for your grandmother time. put something in your in stomach, stomach. Yes, you see that this 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 is the kind of thing that we're saying now the grandmother may not be wicked but it's just that this is this is why the gospel is important to reach everywhere because some of these probably she may have done it in hope to protect her or give some kind of thing every planting that is not of god roaming around your body in the name of jesus christ i declare that it gets out of your body now you can see that this one is not ordinary stomach pain no some of our parents and grandfathers may do certain things sincerely but then these things would now backfire because place your hand there my dear you can see how she's even weak how long has this been 20 years. for 20 years look at me you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands there i command that thing now whatever it is right now out of her in the name of jesus christ blotting out every handwriting the bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross i administer the ministry of the blood and by it we break every legal access that satan has over your body in the name of jesus christ i set you free right now i set you free now my dear look at me look at me run run look at look at this this is someone who could not even sit down there look at the lady is crying 20 years of this demonic captivity My dear, any pain now? Check it. No, no, no. Any pain? <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> the sun sets you free. Indeed, you are free. You see, let me tell you. When something is of a demonic origin, there is no amount of medical attention that will solve it. You would think this lady just has a medical condition. This is a demonic thing. Yes, please. Pile for about three. How many? Years? Who is that? So she cannot sit down. This mama. Mama? Yes, she cannot sit what down. What happened to you? Five. Right from my bed. Right from bed? Yes. Can you imagine a woman this age? Tell me that it's an inherited pile. Inherited pile. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let's. For, for how long, Mama? 51 years now. Oh, my God. And what happened now? Now I'm feeling nothing. So it comes to people by inheritance. That's what they told you. Listen, stand up, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, please receive this prayer everything connecting you with enchantments and operations of witchcraft by the blood of the eternal covenant here at this conference be separated from them now be separated from them now every backlog of demonic inheritance transferred to you as ill health transferred to you help them please as failure in the name of Jesus, we break it right now. Please hear me. Just help those under the anointing. You see that most of the problems of people come from some of these trado African practices. Now there are healthy practices of morality and respect, but there are demonic practices. Madam, lay your hands let me seal that miracle for you lay your hands on your stomach as a point of contact please look at me 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I use you as a point of contact to everyone connected to your family we break that demonic thing now after 51 years Jesus sets you free and indeed he has set you free you remain free forever hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom but I want us to pray while I was praying for this woman I saw a politician in this city moving with a convoy and I saw a ghastly motor accident I just saw blood the Lord is asking me that we pray I'm not a prophet of doom when God reveals like this is because salvation has come this is not to plan fear that thing that looks like an ordinary accident is a demonic thing because this same spirit is planted all across the nation to destroy certain people just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit whoever is the politician concerned we use some of our politicians here as points of contact may the Lord preserve their life in the name of Jesus you are preserved from the waster preserved from the scourging tongues of men in the name of Jesus Christ let's have one or two more then we can quickly pray growth in the breast growth madam how long January January you started sensing the lump it's gone you've checked it in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare perfection for you right now in Jesus name can we take one more and my then green for five years how long my dear five years sir. five years sometimes I cannot even attend lectures I'll be feeling headache if I start you are a student yes, where University of Meduguri okay you can't attend lecture because of it sometimes if I wake up I have to spend like five minutes before I start place your hand on your head the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ we bring you liberty by the power of God you are healed now and you remain healed forever now for sake of time I pray for all of you who have come out and others who could not make it out in the name of Jesus the healings you have received remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me please and begin to pray I'm going to be praying over these requests if you are yet to submit yours please those outside have they submitted their own if you are yet to submit yours just wave your own request and an usher will pick it very quickly and they'll bring it here right now I want to pray for you now unto the Lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound for he is God and God alone hallelujah hallelujah please very quickly submit your prayer request so that we begin to pray now on to the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound over the nations of the earth hallelujah I believe in the God that answers prayers and I want you to stretch your hands here right now and begin to declare that the Egyptians I see today I see them no more forever go ahead you just stretch your hands I will bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray you don't have to kneel I'll do the kneeling for you let it be from the depth of your heart declare that everything I've written here must return as a testimony are you praying Are you praying? Are you praying? She branda katuska te preteke di balakusia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit your people. Please believe it. This is not just some church ritual we are doing. God answers prayers.
agree with me as I pray when I say in Jesus name I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice are you ready in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever you will see them no more forever hear me every spirit that is back of the challenges here written we command their final exodus from your life every human agent who must be in partnership with the Holy Spirit to grant answers to this request we compel their ministry right now for those trusting God for open doors may doors be opened by this prayer let shame and reproach come to an end hear me anybody holding what is yours by the power that raised Christ from the dead we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until you become the rightful possessor of that blessing please believe in this prayer you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you after this conference every garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus we tear off that garment right now prophetically I stand upon this prayer request everything that has stood upon your life to cause you stress I bring it under the feet of Jesus I bring it under the feet of Jesus whatever has delayed your destiny helper from reaching you men and women ordained of God to hold your hands and help you wherever they are across Kombe in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I command them to appear now <laughs> hallelujah please listen carefully I pray especially for the young men in this city the spirit that stops young men from being established that people just continue to grow old and they are still staying in their parents homes in the name of Jesus Christ I release upon you the grace for structural establishment <laughs> hallelujah you see I want you to pay attention we're wrapping up there is a spirit that has played the Northeast and the Middle Belt from drunkenness to irresponsibility to complacency and mediocrity these are wicked spirits that sabotage the glorious destinies of people people can be abroad for 30 years and return back as if they've never crossed out of a city in the name of Jesus everyone under the trap and the influence of that spirit I command be free from it now be free from it now I arrest the spirit of death that keeps killing people in families I decree and declare everyone will live the fullness of their days
Hallelujah. For the election that is coming, may God give you leaders in this city that will help to sponsor development in the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone who means well for the name of the Lord and for the welfare of the people, may God give them a chance to rise. And anybody who will cause pain to God's people and cause pain to the work of the cross I stand by the apostolic anointing and I declare that anyone that is not for God and for the well-being of people in this land will never remain up again in the name of Jesus I'm not a politician I don't do politics but every time I get to talk to politicians I tell them let's be governed by the fear of the Lord let's be governed by conscience and let's be governed by a sense of posterity there are people who have a sincere desire to help and bless we pray that God will lift you in the name of Jesus Christ can I rebuke the spirit of poverty don't say it doesn't matter that is already an attack if you think it does not matter it's an attack on your life in the name of Jesus God who is able to show men mercy and give them the wisdom and the grace to be productive alongside the favor to prosper in the name of Jesus may that God visit you now let's pray for the church in Gombe by the church in Gombe I mean every man of God and every assembly that names the name of Christ listen very carefully remember my opening statement if pastor A wins and pastor B loses the church lost it is only when pastor A and pastor B together are effectively lifting up the name of Jesus can I tell you this thank God for the leaders and the fathers of faith that are here never become a tool for the division of the body of Christ we may differ here and there based on our convictions we may not agree here and there but provided we agree that Jesus is Lord the Savior and the soon coming King is enough point of unity are we together now the truth is that as far as ministry is concerned we differ in our levels of graces and the various levels of our interest in the things of God which ultimately culminates to the variety of anointings and graces that work in our lives but can I tell you if you are a great man and God has helped you and you are seeing results do not downplay anyone even if all you have is two members the price of every one member is the blood of Jesus hallelujah that the spirit of competition competitive jealousy I am better than this I'm anointed we banish it from this city and let me speak to us respectfully because sometimes it's members that cause trouble to men of God when you begin to sing praises and say Saul killed 1,000 and David killed 10,000 you will cause trouble between Saul and David we may not all do the same thing at the same level but every single one of us is serving Jesus in truth can I tell you you may think that the Joshua Selmans are the ones doing ministry it's until the day Jesus comes you will see that there was an a nameless faceless intercessor who prayed these people you can clap for Jesus for doing a great work but do not forget Anna the prophetess do not forget John the Baptist and especially some of us who are younger in ministry make sure you respect the fathers don't look at them and say they don't have any revelation no anointing they have character that most of our young people don't have they have leadership they have been there for 30 40 50 years risk their life serving the lord every father of faith in this land is deserving of honor from everyone do not give honor just on the basis of revelation or crowd or membership anyone who has served the Lord and served the kingdom is deserving of your honor are we together 
the father should also honor the sons because just you see generally you see the current move of God always fights the next move of God fathers too respectfully speaking must be cautious when you see young people that God is using mightily don't downplay what God is doing because if you fight them and they still succeed you will spend your life living in shame it's better to identify those that God is helping and just fine-tune some of their excesses a young man may have a lot of character issues but it does not mean he's not anointed rather than throwing them away and then they go and find God by his mercy and now you will end up in shame for prophesying they will not succeed and yet they succeeded young people don't fight the fathers because someone is falling under the anointing in your meeting it takes more than falling and rising to remain there is a stamina and a skill that only Eli can teach Samuel even though Samuel will be the prophet who will ordain Saul and David he still needs Eli to know the voice of God hallelujah Gombe State walk in unity walk in unity walk in unity those who God has helped and prospered you are a big man not just by the amount of cars you have but by the amount of lives you are transforming the measure of your being big is not in acquisition it's in impact is God helping us parents be responsible over your children don't give birth to children and hand them over to government and people to take care of for you send your children to school encourage them to go to school let them see the value of education and if it will eventually culminate to a great life and for those who may not be doing well in school don't discourage them encourage them because there is hope for a tree even if it caution are we together yes encourage responsibility i'm challenging those of us who are in government put programs that help young people to be responsible all this roaming around is why crime rate will continue to increase the young people must be meaningfully engaged there must be programs that stimulate development and stimulate creativity and in truth no government can do it alone and so we pray that God will attract businessmen and uh, attract people who have the passion to change this territory there are many people from your soil that are successful may God bring them back to come and contribute to the growth of the place it's not a foreigner that will come and build your land foreigners will only assist but God must raise indigenous people and empower them with the Spirit of God let's shun laziness an entitlement mentality don't wait for the government i don't care whether it's whatever political party that one is none of my business every government demands responsibility from citizens to maximize the government no government on its own will be able to produce the best of citizens citizens must take responsibility many of you are young people here you may not have the privilege as soon as on strike you can go into farming God has blessed us with good soil. Go into farming and, and be responsible. Begging around will bring to stealing and all kinds of vices that are not of God. Are we together? And for the men and the women of God, may God grant us grace to continue to do ministry with integrity. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every pulpit will be an altar, a platform for salvation, for transformation for empowerment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ finally we pray for Gombe state father we lift up this state before you you have called it a jewel in the savannah may it speak as it is called in the name of Jesus I pray prophetically for Gombe may strange mineral resources be discovered on your soil we are tracked by prophecy the presence of strategic investors both local and foreign to come and invest in your land in the name of jesus christ and i pray 
even for the ministers of the gospel they are the shapers of the spiritual convictions of people here may god raise help for them so that they can stand strong as they preach in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus now this is my final session i head from here to bauchi but i will not end this conference and this crusade as you may call it without giving someone a chance to come to jesus we didn't have the time to make an altar call yesterday but there are people outside multitudes of people outside some of you across the balcony i see you and some who are standing here please no movement let's stand is the last call and you are saying apostle do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to start afresh with jesus for some of you you are saying i've been around the things of church but i've never consciously made a decision for jesus for others you are saying apostle I've given my life to Jesus Christ, but within the last one year, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration and I need rededication. Some are outside, some are inside. For those outside, as I make the altar call, I will request that you come to the front of your projector screen if there's any, or just the front of wherever you are seated and stand there. For those inside here who are saying apostle, Give me a chance to encounter Jesus afresh again before this conference ends. I'm going to count one to five. Wherever you are, you know that you need Jesus. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand right in front here. I'll begin my counting now. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Run to Jesus. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed of my friend. Leave them alone and come to Jesus. If you're coming, please rush for sake of time. Three. Those outside, I hope you are moving to your screens. Walk to Jesus. Walk to Jesus. And this life is in his son And this life is in his son So he who was the son has eternal life He who was the son has eternal life I have the Son, so I have eternal life. He who has the Son has eternal life. Look at me, please, all of you in front and those who are following, and those who are following from your homes, from wherever you may be viewing from. Here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. He said, Ye must be born again there is no other name the bible declares under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved i thank you for making this bold decision to stand before jesus some of you are making it as a first decision some of you are rededicating your life there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like you are coming to receive an award but this time around it's an eternal award the very life of the son of god may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head and pray this prayer after me knowing that jesus is hearing you and that your profession of faith will culminate to your being a recipient of the life of god say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i ask you to forgive my sin i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power 
of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i am a child of god i have the life of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you you are able to save even to the uttermost hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.